Every day, James wakes up and tries to take care of his 54 children. I am poor. I have nothing apart from spam. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Like you've seen before, that is how the Western media show Africa. According to them, every African is broke. All Africans are suffering, they are hungry. That's why I'm taking you out today to show you the city of Kigali, the land of a thousand hills. So let's go together, let's see the capital city of Rwanda, the cleanest country in Africa, if not in the world. So join me, let's go and discover the African cleanest city. Let's go. This is my Cameroon friends, you know, West Africa representing. Yeah, we're always there, guys. <laughs> yeah. So you were saying something, you say all these places, there's free Wi Fi. Yeah, this is the car free zone actually and no car is allowed to work here only bicycles and people and the, the what amazed me about this place is that it is not only beautiful yeah. but it has free wi-fi full speed 5g so 5g if you get, yeah 5g full speed so if you're here wow. on the car free zone just take your phone okay turn it on and boom you get the wi-fi hey. yeah. so wow. I, I love the lights there's so many i think here will be very beautiful at night yeah uh yeah at night this place is very beautiful this is what is very spectacular about uh, rwanda and especially kigali you know along the street and along the roads you actually see lights like this yeah okay You know, when you go to most airports, you see this kind of light, this spike light, okay? Yeah. But in Kigali, they have taken it to another level on the roads and also in very uh, important places, you see this light to indicate to people that, okay, to drivers especially and motorists that, okay, this, you don't have to go here, you don't have to go here, this is where the road ends and this is where it starts, okay? So this is the difference that Kigali and Rwanda is making in the face of the world. You know, there are a lot of places in the world I've been to, I've not seen this kind of things. Yes, yeah. a lot of places. Yeah, so that is Not even in Africa, even in the Western world. Even in the Western world, I've told you I've been to a lot of countries before yeah. and um, for me to tell you that I've not seen this in most of those countries. Even in China, which is one of the most technology-oriented countries in the world, you would um, you would see that uh, you don't see this kind of things, this kind of innovation. But this is what I actually love about Rwanda and Mr. Paul Kagame's government. They're doing a wonderful job. Oh. Yeah. So we are now walking on the car free zone. If you turn on your phone, you see you get the free Wi-Fi and you start using it. Let wow. me know. Is it in your country and other countries? Wow. Then tell us in the comment section. Guys, yeah. can you believe this? Now, and um, I want to show you something, okay? okay? Just turn your camera to this uh, place. You see this Amstel? Any king? Yeah, Fratelli's Brussels. Amstel? Yeah. You see this particular restaurant? Yeah. It's all run by the uh, speech impaired or the deaf people. Oh. Yeah, this, this, this restaurant, okay? Wow. And you're giving customer service like you've never seen as if you're meeting people who can actually talk like you and i are talking but these people they don't talk they don't even hear but they serve here good food delicious meals okay wow. and it's so amazing the customer service is 100 percent now why am i bringing this to you it's to make you understand that um mr paul kagame has made it possible that he includes everyone no matter your condition in life to get something to do in rwanda and that is why you see a restaurant like that wow yeah that is so beautiful. Yeah. As you see from the beginning of this video, you see that man suffering over there. That's what the Western Union tried to show you about Africa. Yeah. According to them, we are, we are hungry. We are hungry. We are of jobless. Course, we are jobless. We There's are begging. In Africa, we don't even wear clothes. That's what they try to yeah. portray to you people so you guys cannot, cannot come to your Africa to experience the motherland. Okay. But look at it. Look, yeah. at, look at this. Just, Can just you believe that this thing exists in Africa? Now, I want to show you something to your viewers. Just okay. To, okay, now you see here. Now, these um, stands have been built or pavilions have been built here in the car free zones. Okay. And every month, there's actually an exhibition where they show you made in Rwanda things, made in Africa. They sell made in Africa things wow. in this area. So if you go, you will see the marks, the artifacts that are representation of Africa. Wow. Okay. So this this is this is so beautiful and Mr. Kagame is doing everything necessary or good to make sure that he puts not only Rwanda in the first of, in the face of the world, but he puts the entire Africa in one city, Kigali in the face of the world. Wow. Yeah. 
Wow, guys, this is so dope. This is so nice. So nice. We're going to pass here during the night so we can show people how this place looks, looks like, like yeah, in the at night. night. You show them how yeah. it looks like. That is a Kigali downtown at night. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this now. This is actually one of the pavilions. You see, yes. it's open. You see, we can walk in and see these things. Now, these things are actually made here in Rwanda. They are all woven here. It's nothing mixed with the international world. It's purely Africa and yeah. made in Rwanda. Wow. So, yeah, and they are very good quality of great prices for Africans. Yes, I bought I bought this. Yeah. I bought this, uh, the, the other stand over there. Yeah, so you can see arts. These are all things done by Africans. You see? That's how creative the continent is. That's how creative uh, 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 Rwanda is. Yeah, I bought, I bought this wristlet over here. Uh -huh. So for those Western media who portray Africa as a poverty zone, what do you have to say to them? Uh, they are just wallowing in the dark. That's all I would say. Uh, do you, are you, uh, do you, is, is that even the word? They know what they are doing. They are doing it purposely to, to make sure people don't visit Africa. That, that is it. But um, they are doing that to make sure people don't come to Africa. People know Africa as a hungry, na a hungry, a hungry nation, a hungry continent. Full of the people arts, don't have clothes, no electricity. no electricity and all of that. You see? But, and again, before you continue. Yeah. So guys, this is another one important thing here in Kigali. In case you want to use the normal commercial vehicles, you can just come here and book one of these rides. This is a bicycle. <laughs> this can take you all over the city. And very affordable. So guys, see that? You don't want to take the commercial vehicles, the buses and all that. You can just come here and have a bicycle. Yeah. And these, these are homes, apartments. Yeah, they're all apartments. Wow. When you come around the car free zone, okay? Yeah. You get the bicycles, which we have seen there. Yeah. And you, you can ride them throughout the city for just 300, which is only 30 cents. Less than 30 cents, actually. Less than 30 cents. Just you imagine, can get guys. You can bicycle and go anywhere you want. Free. <laughs> like Less than 30 cents, cents for an hour. For an hour. You wow. will ride until you are tired and you are gone. So this is one of the most amazing things that are found in Rwanda that you will not see them in anywhere around Africa. Okay. And now there is another spot, we might not go there today, I will take you another day, where we have electric scooters. Ooh. Yeah, electric yeah, scooters. Yeah, in Kigali. In Kigali, you take this electric Guys, scooters. Guys, I have been in Kigali for more than three months, I don't know all these things. <laughs> You, yeah, you take these electric uh, scooters and go around and ride and feel free. Those scooters, I had one, I bought it for about uh, $1,800. Wow. But here the government offers them for free. You just go and pay like four cents and then, like, you know, like um, almost let's say a dollar and you use it for like three hours. Wow. When it's dead, you keep it there, they come and take it. Uh -uh. Are yeah, you if it, yeah, if it dies here with you, you keep it here, they come and take it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now look at this building. This building is M and I Bank. It's a Kenyan bank. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's one of the most beautiful and state of art architecture here in Rwanda. Rwanda. It's so beautiful. And one thing you need to know about this building is this building has been built with seventy percent natural or seventy percent uh, materials or local materials. Yeah, 70% of the materials that you see on this building have been made in Rwanda. They were not imported, they were all made in Rwanda. That yes. is, yeah, it is one of the most beautiful buildings of architecture you can see here in uh, you can see here in Rwanda. Yeah, the M and I Bank. It's so amazing. Yeah. And also if you happen to go bank with them, their customer service is top notch. I am it's a Kenyan, bank. Yeah, it's a Kenyan, Kenyan bank. bank. Yeah, Kenyan wow. bank. Wow. Okay, this yeah. is a branch here. Yeah? yeah, no, this is like the main office here in Rwanda. Yeah, yeah. It has other Head branches quarter. in other places. Yeah. What I like about the building, it's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah the building yeah, you're yeah. seeing behind us. And 70%, like I said, of the materials that have been used to construct this building were made in Rwanda. Hey. Wow. Yeah. That is what I love about the building. And Guys, can you believe this? Yeah. So this side, they say we live on trees, okay? Yeah. So we, you can see other apartments. 
okay? Yeah. Yeah, these apartments are still under construction. Yeah. Yeah, they're still under construction. And some of them have been oh, completed. Done, they have been completed and they are living there. These are other apartments. And very soon they will come here and then you know for themselves. Now we were able to see the back view of this building. You can see the front view now. Yeah. Of the building. These apartments. Yeah, you can only see this in Europe, in America. But are using made in Rwanda to build this yeah, house. To build this building. Why in Ghana, their president is importing sand Can you from Jerusalem to build a cathedral in Ghana? A church, yes. Man, that is a slap Why to the over face here? of Africa. <laughs> yeah. They say it's the holy sand. Holy sand? Yes. My God. That's how <laughs> mentally enslaved. Most of these guys are. Yeah. Important sand Important from Jerusalem. Important sand from Jerusalem. Say the holy sand. This is crazy. <laughs> Why you see a building here? Now this is this this these are other institutions like this is the uh, BRD, the yeah. Rwandan Bank. Okay. This is the Rwandan Bank. Yeah. Okay. These are secured areas. We need to be careful here. And these are other states of art buildings. Look at this architecture here. Look wow. This, this is already completed. This is another. These are all apartments that wow. people will come around. Look at the design, guys. That's it. So, yeah. Which is the embassy? Switzerland? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that's the Swiss embassy. And this is uh, Marriott? Yeah, we just came out. We just came across the Swiss embassy and the Chinese embassy. Yeah, this Chinese place. embassy is down here? Yeah, down here. And okay. that is Marriott. Marriott, you can see. Yeah, from okay. There. Look, no at, look at the logo over there. Yeah, that's it. I happen to have worked in Marriott Hotel in Dubai. Okay. Downtown. So, yeah, it's very beautiful. And this side, you get some of the embassies, like here's the Swiss embassy in. The Adventist. I think there's also this in there, Charlton. Yeah, there's Charlton there, yeah. There's Charlton over there. And then these are other embassies too. These are embassies. Yeah, all. So, guys, okay, this over here is Switzerland Embassy. Yeah. And if you walk down, you the that's the embassy. Chinese Embassy. Yeah. Where's the American Embassy? Uh, American Embassy is in Kachiru. Kachiru, okay. Yeah, yeah. Where we have the immigration office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, over there is the Adventist Church. Adventist Church Hospital and their this, main this building. Yeah, this building. The build building? Yeah, this one. Oh, wow, they have money. Yeah, of course. Adventist Church is one of the <laughs> best churches here and highly recognized churches here because of their... And they only go to church on Saturdays. On Saturdays, yeah. Because of their good deeds doing uh, what happened here in 94. Yes. Yeah, so they actually did a lot of nice things to take care of the people when they were being shown out by other churches. The Adventist yeah. was there with the people, and that's why they have a very strong grounds here. So, where is the road leading to Hotel the Hotel Rwanda? Hotel Rwanda. Uh, I think they have changed the name now. Yeah, yeah, they changed the name, but um, we have to go the other way. Yeah. Yeah, I think I know the place. Mm -hmm. I've seen it, yeah. but I've not made yeah. video there. Okay. Wow. So, guys, can you believe that this this place? Could you believe that this kind of place exists in Africa? I'm going to show you how this place looks like in the night, in the night yeah. so that you see what the Western medias are not allowing you to see. Because they don't want you to come back to Africa, to the motherland. They don't want you to, to double your investment. Because investing in Rwanda, I met an investor at Noski over here because I work in Noski. Yeah. He was, he, according to what he said, he told me, he said that over 2 million people live here in Kigali. Yeah. And the houses are not enough to even contain these people. Of course, houses. That's are why not you can enough. see many buildings are still, yeah, being still being constructed. So if yeah. you can come over here and invest, and invest in, in real estate, estate. Yeah, that's oh my a lot. god, that's a lot. And this is that's why whenever these Western people come, whenever I see CNN and BBC, what they show you is exactly the video you saw at the beginning of this video. That's the kind of area they show you 
place where people are suffering, are suffering and all of where that. there's no good road. No, we are not saying that they are not. Um, we don't have trenches or places where people suffer. We do have them. Even in US, yeah. we have even zombie US, zombie area where even people in are. France. I was in Paris exactly. last year and I saw where Africans are sleeping on the street. They are putting some kind of tents. Yeah. And they are shelter. sleeping under shelters, oh. under the bridges and all of that. But they, but will, they will never show you that. They will never show you that. Okay? They will never show you the, that. The, the, they will never show you that. I have I have been in China where you it's difficult for you to know if there are homeless people in china you would not know because their medias will not show you that but when these western medias come around what they do is they go to those areas and pick it and make it to look as okay this is how africans live this is how we behave we don't have food we don't even wear clothes and all of that yes you see but just imagine just to uh, just to program your mind yeah program your mind africa is one of the best places for anyone to come and invest yeah uh i have done it a lot of people are doing it and we keep doing it yes rwanda is the next i don't know how to put it next dubai yeah dubai you cannot say rwanda is the next dubai rwanda is more beautiful than dubai in so many things forget exactly. about the buildings Exa exactly rwanda has the the weather it has the soil it has the the vegetation and everything dubai doesn't have that and now with all of these the leadership and the buildings and everything we can make rwanda rwanda is more beautiful than dubai I've lived in Dubai for long and I'm telling you Rwanda is more beautiful than Dubai. To be honest with you, forget about those uh, skyscrapers. We have skyscrapers here as well. Yeah, we, we have can build it. them too. Yeah. But we have what they don't have. That's what makes us more beautiful. That's what makes us unique. Yeah. That's, that's what that's what makes Rwanda the pearl of Africa. Yeah. Yeah, the pearl of Africa. The so, cleanest city and Kigali is the cleanest city in Africa. Kigali is the cleanest city in Africa. And I think it's, it should be the world because you hardly see anywhere in the western world that looks as clean as Kigali. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know that. Notice that. No, I like one thing I've noticed about um, one thing I've noticed about uh, Kigali and Rwanda is that you will not get that kind of smell you get in most western countries. Yeah. Okay. Like you need to see that kind of like you go to most cities you get some smells like in California, like in uh, in Shandong in Guangzhou and all of that you get that kind of smell but here you don't get those kind of smells okay yeah so that is what makes it look different and better than every other area and that is why I am calling on your viewers and come to Rwanda come to Africa there's a lot we can see there's visit a, Rwanda yeah visit Rwanda of course <laughs> there's a lot you can see here this city is it's beautiful man I'm telling you it's beautiful and one thing I want to tell your people Security in this country, Jesus, don't joke with that, bro. 107 percent, don't joke with that, don't joke with that. 107 yeah. percent, like here, man, it's, it's you feel it's something 107 percent secured. Yeah, I guarantee you that in Africa, nobody messes up in this country. You don't try with the security, don't bore you away. my god, don't try, they're not bore you away, <laughs> they're not bore you away. <laughs> Nobody messes up in, in, in the Rwanda. Here Not just in Kigali. Everything applies to every part of Rwanda. Every part of Rwanda. Don't every try. Every part of don't Rwanda. Try. I don't. I don't live again in, in in Kigali. I live in the suburbs. But the security there is far more than the security you get even in Kigali. Just imagine. Of course, yeah. There is that security here. So guys. It's beautiful. And over there, your office, no skin. Yeah. Yeah. So let me show you guys my office. <laughs> Yeah. So guys, this is Noski. It's a hub for entrepreneurs. Whatever you do, you don't need to go get office, start furnishing office. You just come here and get yourself an office. There are a lot of places like Noskin, but I like Noskin because it's very close to the town. Yeah. And um, you know, very close to the uh, the free zone, the car free zone. Yeah. Where you meet international friends and all of that. So yeah, when you go to Noski in the Noski I'll show, you, I'll show you a clip of how inside look like when you go inside you will meet all sorts of entrepreneurs yeah. in fact my first week working at Noski I built I made a lot of friends two of my potential investors in my upcoming movie project I got them from here yes, yeah. and funny enough they are not even Africans one is from Switzerland, wow. and another one is from Poland. That's amazing, bro. I got them here. <laughs> we're talking about Nollywood, uh -huh. and they love Nollywood movies so much. Yeah. They love Nollywood movies so you much. Know, so there is no way that they can stay. Nollywood is something you cannot just uh, wave it by the side, because yeah. you will not count 
three movie industries in the world and you don't count Nollywood. Is it Nollywood yeah. is the second largest yeah. movie industry? So that is our own Africa. That is our own Hollywood in Africa. Yeah. And no one can tell me they have been in Africa and have not benefited from Nollywood. Wow, look at this. Yeah, it's made here. These are all nice things. Mm. You go to Europe, America, you have to buy these things for very high mm. cost. Look at Juju. Like here you get them. Look at Juju. <laughs> look at Juju. <laughs> look at Juju. Juju. Look at this. You don't have to act so I and my tickets tomorrow you might fall down on your face. Guys, keep thank on liking, keep on liking. This is so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. Wow. So this this is how much does this cost? One hundred dollars. Wow. Cheap. Can you imagine? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Just one hundred dollars. Yeah, one hundred dollars. Guys, to get if you love that, to hang it to your house, comment it below. And comment below. If you want, to, if you want that, if you love that, comment below. You might actually have yeah. it as a giveaway. Yeah. You know, you can ship it everywhere, <laughs> anywhere, anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world, yeah. Wow, just hundred dollars. Yeah, hundred dollars. You get that. And we have a lot, a lot of these things here. You see. These are all cheers. Most of them know me here, but I've passed it for long. Yeah, so these are all natural things. They are all made here in Rwanda. This You can get it for your babies. They sit and they study in the evening. Mm -hmm. They study the African kind of study. Yeah. Where you use the African kind of stars. Okay? Mm -hmm. And look at all of this. These are shells and these are all carvings and all of that. See? They're all made. No. Yeah, they are all made here in Rwanda. Go inside it. Yeah. Wow. I give it a Okay. Wow, thank so, you. Yeah, and now this is it, see? You see? So, guys, this is Africa. This is what we do here. Yeah. So, you see, everything you see in this shop is made in Africa, it's made in Rwanda. There is no artificial, no foreign thing here. Everything here is Africa. It's handmade. Yeah, it is handmade. You see? So they are all original. Look at earrings. Yeah, look at earrings. So if, yeah, if okay. So oh wow. So if you see our people telling us to come back home. So you make they, them, sir. Yeah, our mom here actually makes the the earrings. Wow. Yeah, she actually makes the earrings. Okay, you make these ones. Yes, you would. Wow. Wow. So this is who we are. This is to, to make one. How long does it take? How many months mm. to carve one? Two, four, 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 four weeks. Four, four weeks. weeks. A That's month. a month. Jeez. Wow. wow, guys, look at this. No, but not the small one. The big the one. The big one. The big one. Oh. Okay, the small one is. Yeah, the big one, like that one. Okay. Oh, oh. wow. It only take one month, but the small one it's only yes, yeah. four days. Okay. Four days? Yeah, sure. Jeez. <laughs> wow. So guys, just keep on commenting. You could get something here as a giveaway. We'll come and we get it for you as a giveaway africa we're giving you africa mm. we don't want to give you money you go and eat it tomorrow and you don't have to remember us so you, we keep, want it to give, you keep it forever no it yeah. can last for 100 years yeah they can last for 100 years so keep on commenting so that like okay i was talking about these bags mm -hmm. yeah this is how rwanda is decided to change it face okay not relying on international things international designs and products mm. they do it themselves and you get a good ones, and stages. amazing bag oh, wow. made in rwanda i'll take you somewhere i'll show you a place where they actually make these bags and they are so strong they are so solid you can carry your books you can put your laptop yeah you look at me yeah you can put your laptop wow. and it's so comfy as compared to most of those you yeah, see yeah, yeah 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 most of those and it's Western. also very cheap and affordable so you can get them at a very great at a very great price and then if you want to go to the beach yeah look at this it's all made of fiber guys For original winter. it's all original you want to go to the beach please comment on the section down there and you might get one for a giveaway and you go down to the beach and have fun with us it's getting hot here in rwanda yeah all of these this is rwanda i actually had one of these i bought in china i actually had one of these i bought in china for like uh, 300 dollars but here how much is this 15 15 dollars 
Just you imagine. see the difference? I bought this $300 in China. Can you imagine? Look at the difference. Yeah, that's the difference. And now you're buying this for $15. So if you comment, you're getting one cup for $15 and we'll ship it for you. Anywhere in the world you get it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So it's not only that. For ladies, you want bags. Hey, I, lo Look I love this beautiful one. Beautiful purse. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> All of this is made in Rwanda. Wow. You can check that out and then we go. There are a lot to see. Let's just go yeah, because we can stay here all day. So, a lot. I, bought, I think I bought this around here. Mm -hmm. This. Let me give you another thing. But even this one. Do you have this? Wow. Oh, even the magnet of Rwanda. Wow. You can put on fridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank right. you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. You know, this, this is also, also in Nigeria. Yeah. For Aosa people. For Aosa people, yeah. yeah. I need to upgrade my iPhone. Two. Let's go and play this one. Let's keep going. Don't be lying. Yay, guys, see what goes on here in the night. <laughs> this is Kigali Car Prison. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like Times Square in New York. Yeah. It's in this way, see towers everywhere. The same field. Everything. And if you're here, just charge your power bank. Consider here, you browse. No, you don't even need that. You, they are all power okay. ports. Okay, there are power ports everywhere. You sit and charge. Bring your charger. Charge. And you have your internet free of charge. Yeah. And you're seated. Wow. This is the Wi Fi. <laughs> And this place is so clean. Yes. You don't joke here, you don't throw that in the cleanest city in Africa. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, this is my guy over here. His name is Mark Ombe. You can Mark check Ombe. me on Batomo Vibes on Facebook um, and also on uh, YouTube. You can check me on Batomo Vibes and uh, Mark Nature where we show you more about Africa. We give you comedy skit and also I tell you on using natural uh, resources to treat a lot of health challenges instead of going to the hospital because this is Africa. So yeah. you can check on Mac Nature on YouTube and uh, Batomo Vibes YouTube, you'll find me. Yes guys, I'm going to link his channel over there in the description so you can check it out and make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao. Ciao.